What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. The video we're doing today is we're doing another product feature for you guys and we're going to be focusing on the tea retainer and then all of the tea toppers we offer for the swing pad trainer. We're just going to talk about the thought that went into why we made them and how we made them and then talk about different ways that you can use them so that you can optimize your training for you. So let's talk about the design behind the tea toppers and the tea retainer themselves. Um, normal batting tee is just a piece of rubber that's rolled up into like a cone and it just sits on the tee and there's really nothing much else you can do with it. Um, when we were designing this, we wanted to build something that was as versatile as possible, you know, giving you options in your training versus just hitting a baseball or softball. And two, because you know you have to turn this from left to right or whatever it may be, something that was super quick and easy to use, whether it be changing it from lefty to righty or actually switching out the T-toppers themselves. So getting into the T-toppers, we have three kinds of T-toppers. We have the ball T-topper, which holds baseballs and softballs. And then we have our mini training ball T-topper, which holds our mini training balls. And then lastly, we have our dry swing T-topper. And you can see that those are underneath there as well for when you're in travel mode. So one of the most overlooked parts of the tee is actually the tee topper holder. And ironically, it's probably one of the more important parts and definitely one of the more functional parts as well. Um, we put a lot of thought into this. We had a couple of different goals that we thought were extremely necessary to accomplish when designing it. Um, first being that we wanted to be able to switch out tee toppers based on what you were hitting, whether it be baseballs, softballs, wiffle balls, weighted balls, or you're taking dry swings. We wanted to be able to use the same unit and just change the tee topper instead of having to use a whole different tee itself. So what we designed for that is, I'll show you from the bottom, but we have a stem, like a lock and key system on the bottom of the tee. And then the tee retainer has a slot and ribs so that when you insert and then you turn, the T passes through the ribs and then locks it into place. And so what that does, especially with the ball T topper, is when it locks into place, as you hit it over time without those ribs, it'll actually start to gradually turn. So having those ribs make sure it's locked into place and it stays, stays put. And then just the way you remove it, twist it back to 90 degrees and pull it through. And whenever you want to switch T toppers, just insert the next one turn it and you're good to go. So making sure that we're able to use any tea topper that we want to was definitely a big part of the design for this. The second thing was taking the wear and tear away from the tea topper itself as much as possible. Um, on regular batting tees with that rolled up cone, you just hit it and hit it and hit it and eventually it tears. Whereas with this, we wanted to have a point to where if you hit it hard enough that it's gonna pop out and make sure that the T topper is safe and not getting damaged. So the way that works is if you hit the T topper low enough or put enough force into it, it's actually just going to pop out like that. And again, that'll save you a lot of wear on the T topper itself. When you wanna put it back in, it's, uh, very easy, you just go up underneath and then slot it back in. And so that's why we see very, very, very few T-topper breaks. I think in the almost two years that we've been selling, we've had three. So works really well. And the third thing that we wanted to be able to do with it was actually be able to move it side to side. And so I'm going to show some drills on what we can do with each tea topper and the tea retainer itself and we'll get into different things you can do with being able to move it. So here's some ways that you can utilize each tea topper and get as much as you can out of the tea topper holder itself. So we're going to start off with the dry swing tea topper and this is a drill that we've talked about before but we call it the rhythm drill. Um, with the dry swing tea topper we're just trying to build up muscle memory get as many reps in as we can. And so what we like to do here 
is just taking nice rhythmic swings, getting used to that swing path, and again, building up those reps. So what this would look like is just swing through, having a nice rhythm, continually building up those reps, until you get to 100 swings, 200 swings, whatever it may be. But great way to use the dry swing T-topper, and again, build that muscle memory. Another great way to utilize the T-toppers is with the mini training ball T-topper. Um, we are huge advocates for hitting wiffle balls off the tee. Um, there's a Tony Gwynn quote out there that um, he would like to hit wiffle balls off the tee and he would try and make the ball knuckle. And just to show that he was squaring the ball up and not getting around it too much or swinging too in and out. So if you're inside or in a limited space or you can't hit, hit real balls, whatever it may be, this is another great way to be able to use the tee and get your work in. And it's just like normal, just set up and go. And then lastly, we're gonna switch over to the ball tee top. And so now we're gonna bring in the tee topper holder for this one. Um, when we originally designed the tee topper holder, we wanted it to be able to move. And the reason for that is one of the drills that's really good to do on here is if you have a kid that likes to pull off the ball, when you move the tee topper away, it forces them to stay over the board longer, stay through it. Whereas if they try and pull off, they're gonna hit the front corner. Um, some people like to use it for inside and outside pitches, which works for them, that's great. Um, you just gotta remember that you gotta move the tee according to where you're hitting in the zone. But for this one, just moving the tee topper down, a little bit away from the hitter, setting up like normal, and again, trying to stay over the board as long as you can, instead of trying to pull off. Another great way to get rid of that habit. If you guys have any questions about what we talked about today, or even have a suggestion for a future video, leave it in the comments below. Make sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.